Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode on V-City. My name is Peter Oju and I literally just got out of work and I haven't even like stepped inside the house yet or anything. But I've been thinking about something all day, pretty much all day. And and that is, the question is simple. It's is is expensive education worth it? You know, is expensive education worth it? And I was thinking, hmm, hmm. As a person who has been privileged, okay, privileged to you know, blessed by God to just travel around the world and go to many different places, live school, and I have been blessed to attend some of the best schools wherever I've been to. I can I feel like I can speak on this topic. And here's my point of view. Feel free to debate me. Feel free to tell me what you think in the comment section below. You know, let's talk about it. But one thing I usually do on this channel is to talk about education and in school and my life and things like that. And one major thing people seem to take interest in is money. So on this channel, I've I've talked about a few things before. I've talked about uh, 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 um, how expensive school is in Canada and things like that. But here's something I want people to notice. Something that I think a lot of people miss out on. The first is this, very straightforward. When you see middle class people, right, middle class families, not even flinching when it comes to expensive education, for instance, high school or even sometimes universities or college, you know, it's, there's a reason behind it. It's an investment. Not an investment in the quality of education, but an investment in networking. Now, hear me out. It looks like, it, it comes off like this, okay? And I'll explain this. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. If you, I'm, okay, I'm originally Nigerian, all right? So let me use Nigeria, for instance. There are quite a lot of schools where the wealthy people go to, where, you know, people who have class and money go to. And so you do everything you can to take your children to those schools. So that one, your children, you're buying them a future. You're putting them in, within the reach of the wealthy, within the reach of people who have money. Wealth equals capital, right? So in the future, now they have friends that they can rely on. That's why the rich get richer because they stay around themselves. They invest in themselves. And this is how it happens. You have PTA meetings. You have your friend's birthday party and it buys even the parents. Sometimes it gets them uh, um, connections. It gets them networking because now, for instance, if if your child is friends with the child of another wealthy man, maybe the mayor of the city, all of a sudden you guys might become family friends just because of your kids and you're securing a future for your kids. That's how it works. And that's why it's important for uh, for a lot of parents to send their school children to the best schools. Now, it's not about the education they're receiving in the school sometimes. It's about the quality of investment. No, it's, it's more about the future you're buying for the child and for yourself in many cases. Now, here's the thing. Not every expensive school is, is good. You know, sometimes it's just, they just they're expensive for nothing. There's no aura of class, no aura of understanding, you know. It doesn't even have to be school. You know, there are churches you could go to, weddings you could go to. You know that the wealthy thrive in those locations. And the best business deals are struck during during golf, during, you know, informal activities, during, you know, parent-teacher conferences. And that's why it can be important to send your students, your children to schools like that. Well, you have to send them to the right ones. Uh, I'm not a fan of ex of education being that being expensive, but I understand that if you're trying to buy a future for your kids, then that's an investment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's I see it as different. It's it's in the same place, but it's a different thing. You're looking for something else. So I have uh, friends. I have I know people who their parents didn't send them to the best schools, even though they had the money, just because they didn't feel it was necessary. And I have I have friends who are not that wealthy, but their parents did everything possible to send them to a very expensive school. So these are the different points of views I think are, are, are critical. But one thing I noticed is that this thing works mostly in uh, a high school. You know, you go to a city, there are like two or three top schools that you know wealthy people are in for high school. Once you come to university, it's a little bit of a different ball game. But uh, there are those elite universities where you know you will find people of caliber, you know, you will get connections because networking is everything. Networking is everything. Anyway, that was seriously in my mind. And um, if you have the money, 
to send us, your your children to a school that has class, a school where the wealthy people are thriving and they have their kids there. I'm not telling you to send them there because the quality of education will be better. I'm telling you to send them there because of the future you are providing for them. Uh, the, the friends they will make. <laughs> so it, you're, you are also buying yourself a seat at the table of the wealthy. Uh, and 